Hi students, uh, let's study this together, okay? Uh, Wordly Wise, book five, lesson seven, okay? So get your books and let's talk about the pronunciation of the words, okay? The vocabulary words. So uh, say these words with me two times, please. Uh, nice and loud, make sure you speak clearly. Be careful of v and z, v sounds, okay? They're really quite hard. So, okay, let's start. Here's colony, colony, compensate, compensate, deposit, deposit, fascinate, fascinate, feeble, feeble, okay? formal, formal, frigid, frigid, harsh, Harsh, huddle, huddle, remote, remote, okay? resemble, resemble, okay? and rigid, rigid, solitary, solitary, and last two, substantial, substantial, and waddle. Waddle. Okay, so one more time. Colony. Colony. Compensate. Deposit. Fascinate. Feeble. Formal. Frigid. Harsh. Huddle. Remote. Resemble. Resemble. Rigid. Solitary. Substantial. And waddle. A waddle. Okay, so now that you can say these words, let's talk about how to use them. Okay, so uh, first one is colony. Now, in English, we have a lot of <coughs> words that can fit into this pattern. Uh, something of something. Okay, uh, something of something. So we'll say a bar of chocolate. Okay. A piece of cookie, a piece of pizza, okay? a cup of coffee, a piece of paper. Okay, now that's all fine. Okay, so this is a group, a group or a measure word, and this is a noun. And you're saying how much of this noun do you have? Okay, so if you have a piece of chocolate, how much chocolate do you have? A piece. Okay, so this is telling you how much of this one. Okay, so these are all fine, but you can also use these with animals. Okay, so for example, you'll say a pod, like iPod, okay, a pod of whales. Okay, a pod of whales. Okay, or you'll say a school, it's a good one, a school of fish. Okay, a school of fish, a pot of whales, a school of fish. Now, this word here, colony, you can do the same thing, okay? A colony of what animals? Okay, you can do a colony of ants. A colony of ants. A colony of bats, that's also okay. Bats. And there's another one. I think I'm forgetting one, but we can do another one. Surprising one, okay? A colony of people. Yes, you or me, okay? But what this means is uh, we'll go to a new place, okay? A new place to live. It's not just me in my house, oh, and my family. A colony of Daryl's family. If Daryl's family goes to the moon, on a rocket and we live on the moon now we're a colony okay so a colony of people a colony of English people okay they came to Canada um, a colony of French people also came to Canada okay um, uh, this is a group of people and they move and have a new town or a new city okay so this is called a colony a colony of people 
If anybody goes to Mars, they will be a colony. Okay, I think you get it. So there's a colony. Now that's the group of people, but it also can be the town. We found a colony of ants. Oh, that's kind of like the group, okay? English people formed a colony. This is a name for like a town, okay? A, a beginning town. Okay, so this is about in America, in Virginia, in 1607. Okay. So this is also a colony. So it's a group name, but also the name of a town, okay? Good. Now, this word is compensate, okay? Compensate is the verb. Compensation is the noun. Compensate, compensation, okay? Compensation. Now, compensate means that, that one action happens and things are not balanced, okay? And then someone does another thing and makes it balance, okay? So, for example, if you help me move my house, you help me move my house, uh, spend all day, maybe I'm going to give you $50 or $100, okay? You did the work, and now I want to balance our relationship. I'll give you money, okay? Now, if you do the work and I say, here, please take my money, and you say no, I'm like, oh, please, and you, no, 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 Daryl, we are friends. I don't want your money. But you do the work and you refuse my money, then I will take you to dinner, okay? And I pay the money, okay? You have a free dinner. I am still compensating you, okay? So I'm just trying to make things equal. So this is all about compensation. The easiest way to compensate somebody is just with money, okay? But you can compensate people other ways. Um, Maybe for one year, for one year, uh, uh, I teach you English, okay? But then after one year, I'm like, hmm, hmm, uh, uh, I'd like to study the piano, and you are a good piano player, okay? So after I teach you English, you can compensate me by teaching me the piano, okay? So you can say by with a verb ing, okay? So you can help your mom, you can compensate your mom, by helping at her church, okay? Um, you can help your teacher by cleaning up the classroom. Like this, okay? So you can compensate somebody by and then how, how you did it, okay? So verb ing. Okay, I'll, I'll do one more example, okay? Okay, so I compensated my uncle by cleaning out his garage okay so ugly writing like always okay so i compensated my uncle by cleaning out his garage okay so maybe your uncle took you swimming four or five times okay your mom was busy your dad was busy so your uncle drove you to the swimming pool and you're like oh now I want to help my uncle. And you clean out his garage. Okay? There's no money in this one, but this is compensating. So the thing you're doing, that's compensation. Okay, so it's a compensation for. Okay. So for example, if I accidentally mm, I'm not very careful, okay, and I'm on my bicycle in the park, and I'm like, hey my friend, hey, psh, and my bicycle hits you. Okay, and you break your leg. Now, I can say sorry, 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 sorry. That's a start, but it would be better. Maybe I can give you money. And if you can't work now, maybe you work in a restaurant and I broke your leg and you can't work for a month. Maybe I'm going to give you some money now, $3,000, $4,000, because you can't work. So I'm going to compensate you for breaking your leg. Okay? So here, not buy. I'm going to compensate you for breaking your leg. Okay, I broke your leg. I'll give you compensation. Here's a noun. I'll give you compensation for breaking your leg. Okay, so when it says the reason why, you have to have for. Okay, here, I compensated my uncle for him driving me to the swimming pool. Okay, so by and for are going to be very different. Okay. So be careful, be careful. Deposit, okay, the third word is deposit. Uh, it's a pretty hard word. Um, 
sometimes deposit, well, deposit has many meanings, okay? None of the meanings are very difficult. Number one, deposit means you put something down, okay? So maybe you uh, have a soccer game, okay? But when you're going to the soccer game, you have a jacket, you have pants, you have a backpack with water, maybe some fruit on it and stuff like that. But you can't play soccer with all of this stuff, okay? So the team will say, okay, everyone, put your stuff over there. I deposited my jacket and my pants and my backpack over there. It just means put it down, okay? So here, I deposited the container dunk, on the table. It just means put, put on the table. So deposit. That's one meaning. Um, another meaning is to put money into the bank. Okay, so again, it has this meaning of put, okay? So if you say, uh, Daryl deposited $100, it means maybe I have $100 and I don't want it in my pocket. I'll lose it. <laughs> so I deposit, I take the money to the bank, I say, hi, I'm Daryl. Look, I'll show him my picture. I'll say, please put this $100 in my bank. So I deposit the money into my bank. Okay? Now, we do also use the deposit um, for if we find gold. Okay, So if you're digging near the mountain and then you find gold and then you dig and there's like a line of gold. So, wow, that's a big deposit of gold, okay? It's a little bit like the earth put the gold there, okay? So it's another deposit, okay? And deposit can be a verb and a noun, okay? So you say, Daryl deposited $100 at the bank, or you can say that uh, uh, Daryl's deposit at the bank was $100. So Daryl's deposit, a noun, okay? Daryl's deposit, Daryl deposited. Deposit. <laughs> Try to learn this word. It's good for banks, okay? Uh, the next word is fascinate. Fascinate, okay? Now, fascinate can be a verb or an adjective. So we have to use it a little bit better, okay? So uh, we'll say the magic trick. Fascinated the children, okay? So the magic trick fascinated the children. So, is this the verb or the adjective? Okay, so in this sentence, the subject is the magic trick. The next one is the, what did the magic trick do? Fascinated. Okay, the magic trick fascinated the children. This is a verb. Okay, so it's a verb. Okay, now, as an adjective, it's a little bit harder, okay? So, as an adjective, uh, uh, there's fascinated and fascinating. Be careful, okay? So this is very, very different, okay? So fascinating, fascinating means like someone's really, really, uh, something's really, really interesting, okay? Uh, so I'll, I'll show you the difference. Uh, he was very fascinated, okay? This is his feeling. It has ed, okay? After the word very, you're going to have an adjective. So this is an adjective, okay? It looks the same as this verb, but this is not a verb. The verb here is was, okay? This is the same usage as he was very happy. He was very sad, okay? This is no different than sad, okay? So this is a verb and this is an adjective. He was very fascinated. That is his feeling, just like he was very interested, okay? But... We'll say, his friend was very fascinating. Okay, now, they're both adjectives, but they're different, okay? He was very fascinated. It's like, what? Wow! Wow! I love to watch it, okay? He was very fascinated. Now, his friend was very fascinating. This is not his friend's emotion, okay? This makes other people fascinated, okay? So maybe his friend is telling a story and everyone's like, uh-huh, then what, then what? His story was fascinating. His friend was very fascinating, but the people listening were very fascinated. This is an emotion 
This is making the emotions, okay? It's a really hard difference, okay? You can also practice this with bored and boring, okay? He was very bored and his friend was very boring are very different, okay? So try to think about it. ED, this adjective, is going to be an emotion. ING is making the emotion. Sometimes this is like the book was fascinating. The movie was fascinating. This is often an object. And this is often a person. Okay, so uh, good luck with this. There's lots of help online, including my channel. Okay, if you want to go see that, go to my channel, my playlist, and you can say uh, extra videos and find bored versus boring, surprised versus surprising. Okay, next word is feeble. Feeble. Now, feeble has the same sort of meaning as fever. Fever, okay? Now, fever means your head is hot. Feeble means you're weak, okay? But it's not about strong and weak, okay? Someone with big muscles, not me, but someone with big muscles can be sick, okay? And that day, that person is not very strong. They're still much stronger than me, okay? Because I don't have very big muscles. That person is still actually really strong. If they want to lift 200 kilograms or 400 pounds, they can do it, okay? But usually they can lift like 500 pounds. So today they're feeble. Okay, they're still a very strong person, but they're weaker than normal. So we'll say very feeble. Now feeble, we can also use this word uh, in a different way. Not just with about strength and sick being sick and, and having no strength. You also say his answer was feeble. Okay? So, um, if we say his answer was feeble, with a period there, his answer was feeble, um, the meaning is, is that his answer was not very good, okay? His answer was feeble. Like, if I'm a teacher and I say, where is your homework? Give me your homework. And they say, oh, teacher, this week I was very busy. Really? What were you doing? Oh, um, on Saturday, I talked with my sister, and on Monday, I had a soccer game. Okay, but why didn't you do your homework? Why didn't you do your homework? Your answer is feeble. It's feeble. It just means not a strong answer, okay? If you, if I say, where's your homework? And you say, oh, this week I was so busy. What did you do? Oh, on Monday, I worked nine hours. On Tuesday, I studied for my math test. On Wednesday, I had to go to my grandma's house because of my grandpa's birthday. On Thursday, I took an airplane to England. On Saturday, I came home. <laughs> this is a better answer. That's busy. But if someone says, uh, I was busy this week. I couldn't do my homework. I talked to my sister and I had a soccer game. That doesn't sound like a busy week, okay? So you say, your answer is feeble. Very terrible, okay? Um, yeah. Even in sports, too. We can do, do, do it with sports as well. So if you're going basketball and it's here and someone shoots the ball, not close. We'll say his shot was feeble. This means not good at all. Okay? So it means about weak and not good. Feeble. Don't give me feeble homework. Formal. Okay, formal. Um, formal uh, clothes will mean like a tie. Like this, very nice, maybe a tuxedo, okay? Uh, if you're a girl and you have formal clothes, it's definitely going to be a dress, okay? Maybe a beautiful dress, earrings or something like that. We'll say that's very formal. We also say formal English, okay? So um, if you say words like wanna or gonna, I don't teach these words very much, okay? But you hear them a lot, okay? Um, wanna means want to. Gonna it means going to. Okay? So instead of saying, I want to eat spaghetti, say, I wanna eat spaghetti. Gonna. I'm gonna go. I'm going to go. Okay? These are really fast, but these are not formal English. Okay? These are informal. Okay? Okay, informal. 
my writing is not so good. I'll find it. Okay, informal. Informal. <laughs> there you go. Informal, okay? So uh, if, if something is formal, the opposite is informal, okay? Mm. Uh, so if you're going to a party and you don't know how should I dress, how should I dress, you can phone the person who's having the party and, sh and you say, should I dress with formal clothes or should I dress with informal clothes, okay? So this would be good for informal party. Um, if it's a very fancy party and Obama is going to go to the party, um, maybe it'll be very formal, very formal. Okay, okay uh, frigid. Frigid is easy. It means cold. Okay, so when we have refrigerator, refrigerator, okay, and frigid. Okay, refrigerator keeps your clothes cold, or your clothes, keeps your food cold. Frigid, we use for weather, okay? usually for weather. So we'll say the weather in Canada in December is very frigid. Okay? It means cold, cold, cold. Okay? Um, you can say somebody is very frigid or say uh, her, uh, her welcoming us was very frigid. Hello, Daryl. Like this. No emotion. Okay. So you can also use it to describe a person or a person's actions. Okay. Um, I always tell my students, don't use the word father. Use the word dad, okay? Father sounds very cold, okay? Very distant. Father's more like a robot, okay? Hello, father. Dad. Dad sounds much better, okay? Just like mother and mum, okay? Um, father sounds a little bit frigid. I know many people learning English, they think father is just more polite. It is, but it also sounds like you're not close to your dad, okay? So I, I, I much prefer the word dad. Harsh. Harsh is a good word. I should show you this one. It's much more beautiful. Harsh. Um, one meaning of harsh is that it's really not good, okay? Um, so if I talk to you, I talk to you like this. I talk to you. We'll say Daryl's voice is very harsh. Um, it's not good, okay? Uh, another meaning of harsh, we say, his harsh voice hurt my ears. If I sing for you, my voice too will be harsh, okay? Um, but also punishment, a harsh punishment, okay? He got a harsh punishment. So maybe your English teacher will... Uh, punish you. You got one wrong. And they say, oh, do this 1,000 times. That's a very harsh punishment. In this case, you can also say a strict punishment. It means the same here, okay? Now, harsh, you can also use it to talk about weather, okay? So frigid weather is also very harsh, okay? If it's cold and everyone's like this, we'll say, oh, the weather is frigid. Or you can say the weather is harsh. Okay, means the same in in another situation. Okay, so harsh it, you can use it in many many ways, but it's never kind of like a really nice way. Okay, so penguins penguins live in a harsh climate. Okay, or you can say penguins live in a harsh environment. Okay, Antarctica. Okay, so very harsh. Now huddle huddle's a good word. Okay, huddle means people are really close together, okay? Maybe for sports, for sports, a team will huddle together. And they'll say, what should we do? What should we do? And they have a plan. But they're really close like this. One person, what should we do? What should we do? And they don't want the other team to hear. So they're huddling together, okay? So we'll say the team, the team huddled together. Huddled together around the pitcher in baseball, okay? So the team huddled together around the pitcher, okay? So they're, they're looking, they're asking the, the pitcher, what should we do? The pitcher throws the ball, okay? Um, so it just means go together. Now, in another sport, maybe people are angry, okay? So the referee in basketball, 
The referee, no, you, out. And the team thinks, that's not fair, that's not fair. And they all go around him. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? We'll say, they huddled around the referee. Okay? So you can have huddled together or huddled around. So the players huddled around the referee. Here's around. Okay? Together around. This one's more of a friendly one. If you just say around, maybe not. Okay? So if you see a car accident, we'll say they huddled around people. People huddled around the accident. They're looking to see what happened. Okay, remote. A remote. Probably all of you say, I know this word, remote control. Okay? And that's the meaning, okay? Remote control means far away. You're controlling your TV from far away. So remote means far away. Okay? Now, sometimes remote has a second meaning, okay? Um, if my baseball team is really bad and your baseball team is really good, maybe the the expert the expert will say Daryl's team has a one percent chance of winning your team has 99 percent okay uh we'll say Daryl's team has a remote chance of winning very small chance okay yeah so if my baseball team goes against the New York Yankees can we win maybe but our chances are very remote, okay? Very small chance, very, very small chance, okay? Um, good, good. If I want to swim, swim across the Pacific Ocean, can I do it? No. <laughs> no, I can't do it. Zero percent chance, okay? Somebody better than me maybe has a remote chance, remote chance, okay? Uh, resemble. Resemble means look like. He resembles his father. Okay? It means he looks like his father. Um, some people resemble their mothers. Okay. Um, now, resemble can also mean um, like clues and stuff like that. So like if you're in the snow and you see like a footprint, but you're not sure, you're not sure, that footprint in the snow, it resembles a cow's foot. And you don't know, is it a cow? And you walk more, and you walk more, and you, ah, there's a moose. Ah, ah, it's a moose. The moose is making the footprints, okay? Uh, but before, you say it resembles a cow's foot, okay? It means it looks like, it looks like that, okay? Okay, last page, page 73. We have four more words. This is a long video. Rigid, okay, rigid, this paper is not rigid. This book is quite rigid. Okay, oh, not that part. If I do this part, maybe. See, that part's rigid, okay? It's still very flat. It's not as flexible, okay? This is very flexible. Rigid is opposite, okay? Now, if you say a teacher, a teacher's rules are very rigid, means you can't break the rules. It means very strict, okay, very strict. So if the school has a, has a rule and says no gum, and then you bring gum, Go home, okay? No choices, no nothing, no chances. You say, woof, that rule is very rigid. It means you can't break that rule. Solitary. Now, solitary. Um, solitary, in English, sometimes we see the word sol. Sol. Um, the meaning is actually the sun. Okay? The sun. The sun. So we have words like solar. Solar solar system or solar power okay it means the sun but because the sun comes up and goes down and that's one day one day okay it also means sometimes one one okay so when you see sol in english soul sometimes it means the sun but sometimes it means one okay? we have many ways in english to have this meaning one uh but soul is one of them now, solitude, solitude means you're by yourself. You're by yourself. Nobody is with you, okay? Um, so you say, I like having solitude. Solitary is an adjective, okay? So solitude is a noun. Solitary is an adjective. 
Okay, that's all it means. It means you're by yourself. Okay. Um, so if there's a, a, a car crash, and we say there was a solitary survivor, it means one person lived. It also means everybody else died. Okay, so solitary. It can mean one or like you're by yourself. Robinson Crusoe, he was on the island in solitude, okay, uh, until he met a friend, okay, Friday. So this is all solitary. Two more, substantial. Now, in English, if you hear the word sub, you should think under, underneath, like this, okay? This word, it doesn't have that meaning, okay? Submarine has that meaning, okay? Substantial doesn't have the word under. It doesn't have any meaning of the word under, okay? In fact, substantial actually means big or large, okay? So maybe if we say Bill Gates. Bill Gates gave some money to his university. Was it big? It was substantial. It means really big, okay? Really big, big uh, amount of money. Now, if you say uh, uh, Daryl had an accident when he was swimming and he had substantial injuries, injuries, it means I was really hurt, okay? Really, really hurt. Not just a little bit red here or something like that. It means like hospital. You have to go to the hospital because I have substantial injuries. Okay. And the last word, the last word, waddle, waddle. Okay. Waddle is how some animals walk. Okay. Especially animals with two legs and they're a little bit fat. Okay. So penguins, like maybe I walk like this. Penguins will walk like more like this. Don't, don't like this, okay? So penguins waddle, ducks waddle, okay? So it means walking more, not forward, but walking more side, 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 side like this, okay? Usually animals that are a little bit slow will waddle, okay? Now, if it's a turtle, we don't use this, okay? Waddle is for anim animals with two legs, okay? Walking slow. Great, long video. I hope you're still there. Uh, if you need any help, you can ask me, okay? Uh, take care. Good luck with Worldly Wise uh, Lesson 7. Okay? Bye-bye.